Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Investing Iguana, where we talk about all things related to investing in the future. I'm your host, Iggy, and today we're going to discuss a very hot topic, how to be smart about artificial intelligence ETFs. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is the field of computer science that aims to create machines and systems that can perform tasks that normally require human intelligence, such as learning, reasoning, decision-making, and more. AI is transforming various industries, such as robotics, automation, healthcare, transportation, and entertainment. So how can you invest in this exciting and rapidly growing sector? One way is to buy individual stocks of companies that are developing or using AI technology. However, this can be risky and time-consuming, as you need to do a lot of research and analysis on each company, and also diversify your portfolio to reduce your exposure to any single stock. Another way is to buy exchange-traded funds, or ETFs, that focus on AI. ETFs are funds that track an index or a basket of stocks that share a common theme or sector. ETFs offer several advantages over individual stocks, such as lower costs, higher liquidity, instant diversification, and easy access. However, not all ETFs are created equal, and some may have better performance, lower fees, or more exposure to AI than others. So how do you choose the best AI ETFs for your portfolio? Well, that's what we're going to explore in this video. We're going to look at four of the top AI ETFs in the market right now, based on their returns, holdings, expenses, and popularity. We're also going to compare them with each other and with the NASDAQ CTA Artificial Intelligence and Robotics Index, NCROBO, which is a benchmark index for the AI sector. Before we dive in, please remember that this video is for informational and educational purposes only. It is not financial advice or a recommendation to buy or sell any securities. You should always do your own research and consult with a professional before making any investment decisions. All right, let's get started. The first AI ETF we're going to look at is the Global X Robotics and Artificial Intelligence ETF, BOTZ. This fund tracks the INC's Global Robotics and Artificial Intelligence Thematic Index, IBITS, which consists of companies that are involved in the development or use of industrial or non-industrial robotics and artificial intelligence. The fund has 38 holdings, with the top three being Cirrus Logic Incorporated, Harmonic Drive Systems Incorporated, and NVIDIA Corporation. The fund has an expense ratio of 0.68%. The fund has returned minus 9.8% over the past year. The second AI ETF we're going to look at is the Robo Global Robotics and Automation Index ETF, Robo. This fund tracks the Robo Global Robotics and Automation Index, which consists of companies that are primarily focused on AI, in addition to robotics and automation. The fund has 86 holdings, with the top three being Brooks Automation Incorporated, Intuitive Surgical Incorporated, and Zebra Technologies Corporation. The fund has an expense ratio of 0.95%. The fund has returned minus 10% over the past year. The third AI ETF we're going to look at is the iShares Robotics and Artificial Intelligence Multi-Sector ETF, IRBO. This fund tracks the NYSE FactSet Global Robotics and Artificial Intelligence Index, which consists of companies that are involved in robotics and or artificial intelligence across multiple sectors. The fund has 102 holdings, with the top three being Meta Platforms Incorporated, Coinbase Global Incorporated, and SoFi Technologies. The fund has an expense ratio of 0.47%. The fund has returned minus 7.9% over the past year. The fourth and final AI ETF we're going to look at is the Defiance Machine Learning and Quantum Computing ETF, QTUM. This fund tracks the Blue Star Quantum Computing and Machine Learning Index, which consists of companies that are developing or using quantum computing or machine learning technology. The fund has 63 holdings, with the top three being Shopify Incorporated, Twilio Incorporated, and Square Incorporated. The fund has an expense ratio of 0.4%. The fund has returned minus 8.6% over the past year. As you can see, there is no clear winner among these four AI ETFs, as each one has its own strengths and weaknesses. For example, BOTZ has the lowest number of holdings, but also the highest expense ratio and the worst performance over the past year. 
Robo has the most exposure to industrials, but also the highest expense ratio and the worst performance relative to the Krobo index. IRBO has the most diversified portfolio across multiple sectors, but also the lowest dividend yield and the lowest exposure to AI-specific companies. QTUM has the lowest expense ratio and the best performance relative to the Krobo index, but also the smallest AUM and the most niche focus on quantum computing and machine learning. Therefore, your choice of AI ETF may depend on your personal preferences, risk tolerance, investment goals, and time horizon. You may also want to consider other factors, such as trading volume, liquidity, tracking error, dividend policy, tax efficiency, and ESG ratings. Of course, there are other AI ETFs available in the market. Some other popular options include the ARK Innovation ETF, ARKK, which invests in companies that are disrupting their industries with innovative technologies such as Tesla, Roku, and Spotify. Another option is the ARK Israel Innovative Technology ETF, IZRL, which invests in Israeli companies that are leading in fields such as genomics, healthcare, biotechnology, and the Internet. You can find more information about these and other AI ETFs on websites such as ETF Database, Investopedia, and The Motley Fool. AI is a huge and growing market that offers many opportunities for investors who want to capitalize on the future of technology. However, investing in AI is not without risks and challenges such as high volatility, competition, regulation, and ethical issues. Therefore, it is important to be smart and selective when choosing AI ETFs for your portfolio. You should look for funds that have low fees, high exposure to AI-specific companies, good performance, and strong diversification. You should also do your own research and due diligence before investing in any ETF or stock. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos on investing in the future. Also, let me know in the comments what you think about AI ETFs and which ones are your favorites. And don't forget to check out the links in the description for more resources on AI investing. Thank you for watching the Investing Iguana, and I'll see you next time.